seen. Now those in the community shocked and grieving, now lending their voices in hopes for change. Our Jocelyn Person hearing from city leaders and outreach organizers on the change that they hope to see among Buffalo's youth. No more shooting. To lose another young child who didn't even get a chance to start life. Several community organizations came together Tuesday evening with signs calling for an end to gun violence on the east side of Buffalo. These calls come three nights after 16s were shot on Alexander Place near Jefferson. 14 year old Jasmine Fomby was killed. Buffalo Snug wants this community to know it's here to help. Every shooting we respond to to let them know that there is some, someone here that can help them with different options. They don't have to pick up a gun, you can pick up uh, a trade. Founder of Bury the Violence, Karima Morris, is pleading with the unknown shooter to come forward. Someone come forward, that their spirit be disrupted, and that they come forward and speak up. It, it could be your own family member. So just remember, even though you did this one, it comes back and we want to stop that cycle. So please, please come forward. Others are calling on the older crowd. So us as adults, what are we going to do different? To do something. From the big fish to the little fish, to the organizations, to the churches, to the teachers, to security, to administration, um, everybody needs to be on the same page. Parents, let's stop pointing the fingers at these kids whose brains aren't fully developed. And uh, let's say accountability of uh, the stuff that's going on in the backdrop that ain't being discussed. Community leaders say they plan to take action. The last two days since this shooting happened, I've been talking to a number of community organizations, so we are putting together some sort of a youth summit to talk about things like this and bring our youth together and, and do some trainings and some programming and just let them know that their community is here for them. Evangelist Bruce Warwick tells me his mission is to use his ministry building to keep the doors open 24 hours to all youth and young adults. Where we can help these kids deal with their trauma is what these kids need help with. We got a bunch of kids running around right now that has yet to face their trauma that they have yet to face. And what they're doing is they're bleeding on each other in this community. Jocelyn Person, 7 News Buffalo.